the Clippers. Morris for three. Bucket. What a hit by Morris. Marcus Morris and the Clippers come up with their first winning streak in over three weeks. A great victory over the Celtics. And now our story takes place once again in downtown Los Angeles. As the Clippers look to add to their win streak today against Orlando. On Wednesday, it was Morris and the Clippers beating the Celtics without Paul George. They'll have to do the same thing here today, requiring a total team effort. They take on Cole Anthony and the Orlando Magic. Now, Orlando has struggled, but there's enough talent on that roster to make you work today for the Clippers as we welcome you inside of Staples Center. Alongside the czar, Mike Fratello, I'm Brian Seaman. It is great to have you with us. Well, a year ago, Brandon Boston was at the top of many scouts NBA lottery pick for the following draft. Unfortunately, after a tough year at Kentucky, his draft stock plummeted all the way down to the 50s. But he never lost faith, never lost confidence. That has been evident since this jump. And the Clippers seemingly have the steal of the draft. Anytime you can score 27 points in just over 25 minutes, you are special at the offensive end. This young man exudes confidence. He gets the switch. Big man switches out and knocks down a three. Tell me this. You're the 51st pick in the draft. You steal the ball. Are you going to go behind your back in a big basketball game? Well, he certainly does. And he actually thought this was going for the time it left his hand to close out the first half. Brandon Boston with a sensational performance. You've got one sniper, and then you've got another Marcus Morris Sr. is playing some of his best basketball. I think this is the best that Marcus Morris has played, and I honestly feel this may be the best condition that he's been in. He's in shape. His legs are ready to go, and right now he knows they need him to put points on the board. When a team is going through a rebuild like Orlando, sometimes you can lose sight of the little things and often look forward to the upcoming draft. The one thing the Magic have had something to cheer about is the play of second-year player Cole Anthony he has been a lot of fun to watch. Another one of those youngsters who is just full of confidence. He may have gotten that from his daddy, by the way, because at the offensive end, watch, ball fake, gets a wide open look at the front of the rim. This guy uses the screen and is smart enough to keep the defender on his back before he hits the floater. He also has the ability to make his teammates better, knowing exactly where they are on his dribble penetration. And then steal. I'm going coast to coast. And the ability to finish one of those special youngsters. Without Paul George and Nicholas Batum, it might be the time for the young guns to step up once again. They did it against the Celtics. The Czar's going to break it down after this. Clippers basketball is brought to you by CarMax, official used car retailer of the L.A. Clippers. By Honey, score great deals when shopping online. Download it for free today at joinhoney.com. And by Hyundai, the Hyundai Getaway Sales event is going on now with winner-only savings on all models. Visit buyhyundai.com today. Terrence Mann and Brandon Boston were able to deliver. Saying next man up is easy. Actually doing it, that's the hard part. Time now for our play sense presented by Frontier Communications. Anytime you can score 27 points in 25 plus minutes, you're having some game. He reads the switch. Big man doesn't get out fast enough. Just step behind that three point line and knock down that three. And if you close out too hard, not afraid to go by a very good defender, Marcus Smart, and finish at the rim. Now, Terrence Mann, he's always seems to be in the right spot at the right time. Catch the ball off the block shot and no hesitation going coast to coast, attacking the rim and finishing. And then willing to stick his nose in the crowd. A huge offensive rebound goes back up, finishes a couple of the youngsters that are performing at a high level for the Clippers. Well, they will need it today without Paul George and Nicholas Batum. Can the young guns take over again today? Clippers, magic, coming up next.